What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12, Episode 12. So we go 12-12, honey. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. So this episode was really a lot of filler. It was a lot of feel good. It was the last episode before the finale. We know, I don't, I, I don't know. And I'm sure y'all know, y'all mega fans will tell me what we're doing about the finale. Because of course it's live. They hadn't filmed it yet, at least as far as I know. So I'm really not sure where we are with the finale. And of course, once again, they try to edit Miss Sherry Pie as often as possible. It was it got very comical as the, this episode went on. But anyway, um, so we start with our mini challenge. The mini challenge was that, um, you know, RuPaul is, she is hyping up her um, Vegas show, which I'm trying to get to. I was actually supposed to be going to, trying to get there before this whole Rona stuff went down. Um, this piece of hair in my eye. Um, so... Sorry about that. So, um, they're, they're hyping up the Vegas show. So, the mini challenge is Vegas show, girl. They had 30 minutes to get in a quick drag to make a headpiece. They gave them all the stuff. And they had to be showgirls. And it was cute. Um, um, Jada Essence Hall, of course, looked flawless. And they played up on her whole, you know, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know, you know, look over there. You know, they played up on that. Um, Crystal Method, um, she looked like a, a rejected showgirl child, and she did the dance moves from, you know, the thing last week, and she played up on her goofiness. Um, Gigi Hall played up on, you know, the fallen showgirl thing, and was real, she was actually really quirky. Um, she didn't try to be perfect and be very, you know, couture. Um, so she was very quirky. Uh, Jackie Cox actually did what, they, they played up on the whole Merkin thing from when they did the Droop Challenge. And then last but not least, they had, um, Sherry Pie. And I liked Sherry Pie's little leotard. It was a real, like, uh, bikini cut. And I liked it. It was cute. It was cute. Alright, so... The Maxi Challenge was that they were basically going to do their own, uh, Vegas show. And they were actually using the actual composers from RuPaul's uh, show in Vegas at the Flamingo. And the choreographer, which was, again, Jamal Sam's, um, Sims. And he was the guest judge this, this week. So, you know, like I said, they showed us the whole... They had to write a verse. They had to sing a verse, write a verse to sing, write a rap to sing that they were going to be lip syncing to as they went through the musical part. And, of course, they had to do the choreography. And I think they had, like, two or three wardrobe changes. It was cute. It was very elaborate and it was very cute. Um, of course, they showed us the highlights. And, you know, whenever they show us the highlights, they always show us the worst parts. And then we get to the production and everybody, for the most part, everybody does really well. Um... Jada Essence Hall, I think, was the first, was the worst one when we get into the singing and the rap part. But like she said, y'all know I ain't no singer, so it is a, hey, it is what it is. But she definitely had the choreography down. I felt like Jackie Cox was being real nice about saying all the white, all the white boys couldn't dance, and Jada was getting all the dance moves. And you know, I feel like she was being real politically correct about it, but that's what she was saying. But she wasn't wrong. I can't be mad because she wasn't wrong. Um. Then they performed. Again, y'all, this is going to be a quick review because um, I thought they did really well. I mean, for what it was, I think they did really well. Um, I didn't see any major faux pas, but then I don't hardly, I very seldom see a lot of major faux pas and the judges seem to find all kinds of stuff, child. So, but overall, I think everybody did well. I really do. I think everybody did well with the rusical. Well, it wasn't a rusical, but y'all know the, the show. The runway was um, eleganza, stravaganza. So everybody was wearing their best elegant look. And the one thing I will say, let me look at my notes because I did take a couple of little quick notes. The one thing I will say that I thought was funny was Gigi Good said, I want to, you know, in the first rap I wrote, I wrote about me being that bitch and, um, and this one, I want to, I want to give the judges something different. I don't want to give them, you know, that same rap. But then that's exactly what you did. You gave us the same thing. And I ain't mad at you. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, child. So for the runway, um, we had Crystal Method had on this blue Genie Smurf thing. Her whole face was painted blue. 
It she had a turban on, and it was like this jumpsuit. This it was quirky. It was weird. And the only person I could have got away with that would have been at this point in the competition, Crystal Method. Of course, the judges loved it. They ate it up. Gigi Good had this whole tuxedo dress thing going, and she did a playoff on, like, the braces with the headgear thing. She said it's the opposite of what the judges would expect from me, because they would expect for me to come out here and be very elegant and very fashion, and I wanted to give them something different. And you're right. You, you did. You gave us something different. Okay. Jackie Cox gave us very what you would expect for this category. It was a big hoop dress, the polka dots with the big bow. Um, she looked really nice. Her makeup, her hair, I thought looked really nice. Um, Sherry Pye gave us Mae West, blue, very Mae West, and again, I feel like we've seen that before from you, Sherry Pye. The judges seem to love it. They thought you did a great job, but I feel like we've seen you do that two or three times already this season, but. I like it about what I think, child. <laughs> Last but not least, we had Miss Jada Essence Hall. She gave us this gold and black, this very gold, you know, um, um, strapless number. To me, it was, it, it, as soon as she came out, it reminded me of some mahogany. Like, all I saw was Donna Ross and mahogany. Um, Carson Cressley gave the reference of Dynasty and the gowns that they used to make for the ladies on Dynasty. But it was very, very elegant. And she had the long, you know, curly black um, wig. And I just... It was everything, okay? I, I, I was very appreciative of it. It, it, it. it gave me everything, okay? It gave me everything. Um, and like I said, y'all know I've been... And let me say this. The mirror moment was basically about your first impression of everybody. And out of the ladies that are still here, what was your first impression and all of that. And for me, I'm going to say that I was probably the most wrong about Jada Essence Hall. For me, my first impression of her was that she was going to be one of them stereotypical whiny, you know, um, getting on everybody's nerves with the attitude. I really did. I really thought she was going to be, and she has so proven me wrong. Um, I did not expect her to get this far in the competition based off the first episode, even though she won. I, I still didn't expect her to get this far. Um, so I am wrong. I was wrong, and I can stand in it. Jada, you have given me everything you have been flawless this season with your looks i don't remember a look that was wrong yet now there were a couple of looks that weren't my favorite but i don't remember when i was wrong um so if i have to participate in that that would be it for me um i saw I saw Gigi from day one. I said, yeah, they, they love Gigi. I saw Jackie Cox from day one, especially after they saved her them two times that her ass should have been gone. But okay, whatever. Um, Sherry Pye, we knew about the controversy going in, but I but because of the way it, the, the press release was worded, I figured she had made it pretty far in the competition. Okay. Crystal Method, I didn't see you either, boo. I, I, I didn't see you either because you had a couple of weeks where I was like, but you did it. You stayed in it and you did it. So congrats to all of you guys. Um, so when we get down to the runway, again, this is the finale. This is the well, the final episode before the finale. And y'all know how they normally do the runway. Unless somebody just blatantly gets it wrong. It's very nitpicky. And it's, it's very... You were so great. We loved you. We fell in love with you. You made so much growth. We loved this. We're so happy you're here. Blah, 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 blah. So it was very much that. Um, even that's the one time you're going to hear Michelle even say nice things is the very last runway of the season, of the regular season. And so it was. When they got behind the scenes and it was just the judges, at the end of the day, the queens were so tight and they were so good, it really came down to report cards, which is what the ladies had said early on. And Jackie Cox said it. She said, well, if it come down to report cards, me and Crystal Method are in the bottom. Like, we have the least amount of wins, you know, so if you're going to just go by a report card, it's going to be the two of us. And it that's who it came down to. It was the two of them. Um, Crystal Method, Jackie Cox, they danced off against each other. And I'm going to be honest with you, they danced, they danced to On the Floor by J-Lo and Pitbull. And I'm going to be honest with you, that was actually a decent um, lip sync as far as them being neck and neck. Like, again, Crystal Method made them laugh. Jackie Cox gave us... She wasn't as quirky as she had been in the other two lip syncs she did. She didn't try to be so, you know, so uh, campy is the word I'm looking for. But at the end of the day... 
Crystal Method, Shantae, you stay. And um, Jackie Cox, I'm sorry, but, you know, your time on Drag Race has ended. Now, what I think had things not, had the world not been blown off of its axis, I would have been interested to see if they would have brought Jackie Cox back. Because they cut Sherry Pie off the whole thing at the end when they were like, so are you Team Crystal, Team Jada, Team Gigi? And they stopped there like Sherry Pie wasn't standing there. I said, damn, y'all cold. Y'all just cold. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it would have been interesting to see if they would have brought Jackie Cox back and let her take Sherry Pie's um, slot as the Final Four um, prior to this. Now that... I don't know how they're going to do, I don't know if it's going to be a virtual, because I know they did like a virtual drag con. So I don't know if they're going to do the finale like virtually or what, I don't know how they're going to do it at this point. But it, it would have been interesting to see if that had happened. But at this point, I don't know. I think they just want to figure out a way to do the finale and keep it moving, child. Um, of course, I'm team, I'm team Jada. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if Crystal won. I would love to see Crystal win. I would feel like the underdog kind of did it. Um, I'm pretty certain that um, if they still do the, do it this year, I'm pretty certain that um, they might do it through Zoom like they did the, the Real Housewives reunion. But I'm pretty certain that Heidi got Miss Congeniality. Of course, when they said goodbye to Heidi, everybody was talking about how much they loved her and how much they were going to miss her. I feel like either her or Jan would get Miss Congeniality, but I think, I think Heidi. Um, and that's it, you guys. Uh, we'll wait and see how we're going to do this finale. I'll see y'all for All Stars, child. Well, for the finale and for All Stars. All right. Peace.